If you are a fan of Formula One, you might have heard the term toe or toe angle. In this video, we will explain what this term means and how it applies to F1 cars. Let's get started. If you were to look at an F1 car from above, the angle of the wheels relative to the center line of the car is referred to as toe. Positive toe occurs when the wheels point inward, and negative toe occurs when the wheels point away from the center line of the car. The angle created by the tire in relation to the center line is referred to as the toe angle. In most cases, an F1 car will be set up to have about one degree of negative toe, wheels pointing away from the center for the front tires, and a one to two degree positive toe, wheels pointing towards the center for the rear tires. The reason behind this setup is that negative toe in the front tires makes it easier for the car to turn. Let's see why this is. When turning, the inside wheel, the wheel closer to the corner, follows a path with a radius that is less than that of the outside wheel. If the wheels are pointed straight ahead, then they would be fighting against each other when turning. When a negative toe is applied to the front wheels, the wheels follow paths that have a closer radius to their natural paths, and therefore the car turns easily. The amount of toe to apply varies with the radius of the corner being driven. Since toe angle cannot be changed when driving, the optimal angle must take into account all corners on the track. While negative toe allows for better cornering, it comes with the downside of less stability while driving in a straight line. This is for obvious reasons. The tires are pointed slightly outward. To compensate for this, the rear tires of a Formula One car are set up with a slightly positive toe. Since Formula One cars are rear wheel drive, this positive toe in the rear gives the car stability when coming out of the corners and while driving down the straight. Getting the right toe angle for the front and rear tires is a tricky job. Engineers use feedback from the drivers, data from the simulators, and data from practice sessions to get the ideal setup. The ideal toe angle setup will take into account all corners, elevation changes, and even the weather conditions on the race day. The goal is to come up with a setup that will promote even tire wear and heat distribution across the tire. If the tire heats up unevenly when driving, for example, the inside of the tire heats up faster than the outside of the tire, the tire life will be reduced. This will obviously impact race performance. Hope this video helped you learn about toe as it relates to Formula One tires. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.